What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brittany De Villiers. And out. today's video. Shout <laughs> out. Get away. Shout out. Today's video Shut is just up. What are you doing? Uh, as I was saying, today's video is just gonna be uh, You're ruining it. Oh guys, I just have to live with him, you know. Do you know how much he frustrates me? But yes, like I was saying. <laughs> No, Morgan, because I actually can't film this YouTube video. I don't really have loads to do this week. Like, we just went shopping today and I thought, oh, okay, well, let me film a vlog. But then I thought about it too late because we'd already been shopping. But if you guys want to see that stuff, I'll show it to you anyway. It's some stuff that we got today. <laughs> it's crawling on the floor. <laughs> This week, I actually have an exam on Wednesday. Today, I submitted one of my assignments, <laughs> property law assignment. It was very difficult, but we got there in the end. Um, and apart from that, I'm probably gonna be going out <laughs> a couple times this week for dinners with my friends or with Morgan or whoever. Stop lying, um, you're ruining it. Now, me and Morgan are about to cook a very delicious meal. Me and Morgan? Yes. Wait. Wanna tell them where the meal's from, babe? Hello. Fresh. Today's meal is going to be from HelloFresh. Um, they're actually sponsoring this video and I'm really excited about it because we actually shopped from them anyway. When we lived in Swansea, we had like a reoccurring uh, plan on with them, but then we moved. But when we moved, the food was still getting sent to the apartment. <laughs> Whoever lived in that apartment when we moved out was getting a free subscription of HelloFresh yeah, meals. Yeah. So the HelloFresh meals are actually so quick and easy to make. When you do your order, the meal comes with a card that tells you exactly how to make everything. Parcel comes with the exact amount of portions of food that you need to add into your recipes. And the card has a picture of how it's meant to look. Personally, I prefer cooking like that. Um, obviously in this household, I do most of the cooking. But these recipes are actually so simple and easy to cook that even Morgan can do it. Wow. Yes, yeah, she can, and you're gonna help me. What I love about them, though, is the fact that they're so convenient. If you're like me and you hate shopping, I absolutely freaking hate going <laughs> grocery shopping, and so does Morgan. Let me just show you some of the meals that we ordered. Over here, we have the jerk style chicken and black bean curry. Yum, that looks so good. Morgan's actually Jamaican, so I'm pretty sure he'll like this one. Um, then we have Herbie Crispy Skin Chicken. This one looks so good and so healthy. And this is some lentil bolognese. So, okay, I'm just going to do this and you have to pick one. Yeah. <laughs> you look so, we're going to go with this one. Let's do it. I don't know about you, but this looks incredible. I'm so excited. This is the finished result, guys. Oh my god. I'm a chef. I'm actually a chef. So I would like to add that Morgan is the world's fussiest eater. And what do you think? They're good. Yup. This is why they're good because on their website there is just so much variety and such a big range of stuff that there is actually something for everyone. But I'm not just gonna promote something and not give you guys a little bit of discount. So you can use code Brittany Davilliers. I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, so with my code, you'll get 50% off your first box and also 35% off your next three orders. So. Is that a good deal? I think it is. Um, but yeah, I'll leave a link down below for you guys to also go shop it at so it's easier. But yeah, don't say I didn't plug you because I did. Okay, so we're just about to go take a little vacation trip to Costa. And I have to start thinking about what I want from now because otherwise Morgan gets angry when he's standing outside and I don't know what I want. I'll, 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 okay. I'll, I'll stick to the child right here. Well. You stick to your child, yeah. yeah? Don't worry. Can I please get a chai latte as well, but with soy milk? Yes, the cordial Thank Would you. Would you like medium size as well? Yes, please. I've, we've never tried a chai latte before. This is going to be our first time. So we're going to have a taste test and see how it goes. It's poopy. No, it's too bad. Can we come back around? No. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's coming. Hey, where are you going? Oh. I don't know. I get it. You like it? It's like cinnamon. That's nice. I like it. I don't know what I think. Yeah, I don't know actually. Should we get another drink? No, I'm not getting it. I just don't know how I feel about it. Like I like it, but then I don't like it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. I like it at first, it's like and then it's like nice taste, and then after it's like has a bad taste. It's like there's it's like it leaves like a cinnamon stain on your phone. Yeah. Also, one thing I want to add about when we're driving, people always comment down below like wear your seatbelts, blah blah blah. But we are wearing our seatbelts. We just do this thing where we wear it under our arm because I just. I don't really, I don't really find it comfortable when I wear it on top. I'm just used to wearing it under there, but we're still wearing it. So just because you can't see it, doesn't mean we're not wearing it. Okay. Good morning, everybody. So today I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fresh. Um, excuse all the pigmentation on my face. We're dealing with acne. So we're still trying to wait for that to go away. All the scarring. Let me show you. Yeah, it's, it's really bad, but. I've gotten to a point where I just want to ignore it. Like, I'm not dealing with it. Let's forget about it. Excitingly, I'm going back to work because I haven't been wanting to model because of my acne because it's been so bad, but I'm like, oh, screw it. Let's just go get my bag. It is now nine o'clock in the morning. Morgan's leaving for work. He's about to go to training. I'm going to go to the gym at 11 o'clock. I have an appointment with a personal trainer because I'm gonna get my body in shape for summer, even though we probably can't go on holidays, but I still want to get into good shape. Went shopping yesterday. I'm gonna show you guys what i got so i got some trainers from louis vuitton i actually don't have any louis vuitton trainers so these are my first ones but they they're so beautiful you're not ready for this look at them look at them exciting so i can't wait to wear them i don't know what i'd wear them with but they look so nice on Okay, yes, my hair's a mess. Let's not talk about it. Um, so I just went to the gym and it was pretty good. I booked a session for tomorrow. I came back, had a shower, and as you can tell, half of my hair underneath is curly because <laughs> I was too lazy to wash my whole head, so I just washed the top and then I dried it so it's straight. We're gonna go out for dinner with some friends later today. Okay, I'm aware the lighting is a bit weird right now because I'm sat with the window behind me all my clothes over there from trying on outfits yesterday but i'm currently just getting ready i'm about to obviously go out it's actually gonna be like our first my wisdom tooth is coming up it's gonna be like our first like um date night kind of thing since lockdown kind of eased obviously we're gonna be eating outside which is fun there's this really nice restaurant in wolverhampton an italian place so we're gonna go there and they sell cocktails if they don't sell cocktails i'm not going that's the rule <laughs> But yeah, I'm just gonna curl my hair because obviously the top of it isn't curly anymore, but the bottom is, so I'm only gonna do it like halfway. One thing about me is that if we go to a restaurant and there's no porn star martinis, we're not going. I have to have porn star martinis when I go out because life without a porn star martini is just not the same. Like, what is even the point, you know? I love getting ready and doing my hair and doing my makeup. And pretty sure Morgan loves it. Obviously, I'm starting the gym now, so. We'll see how that goes. I'm not very good at the gym. I do this thing called the yo-yo effect where like I go for a little bit and then I just get bored and like fed up of it or whatever and I think it's not working and then I give up but I think I just really need to stick it out, you know? And I wait till I actually get results before just giving up. Okay, you guys. <laughs> so first of all, I just want to apologize for the fact that I literally did not vlog anything yesterday. I'm so sorry. I got there and I literally completely forgot because I was in a rush to get there. And when we were there, I was just having so many porn star martinis waiting for our friends to come. And I forgot to vlog and I came back and I was so drunk. And I fell asleep on the couch and Morgan left me on the couch and he went into the bed all by himself <laughs> just so that he could have all the space in the bed. <laughs> what an asshole. And I woke up at three o'clock in the morning like, what is going on? I've just been watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. It's literally like my favorite show ever now. The weather is so bad today, like I'm not leaving the house. I actually have an exam later today that I have to do, so that's gonna be fun. It's criminal law. Um, I've had a delivery today, guys. So it's from Palm Angels. Morgan doesn't like them. Let me show you. I just got really cute Palm Angel ciders. I've been on like a little bit of a shopping spree recently. I've been doing so much shopping and I don't know what for. But then again, we are like just out of lockdown, so I need it. I have no clothes. I did a massive shop on Pretty Little Thing yesterday. I was so bored. 
um, I got like 350 pounds worth of stuff and that was with discount as well because they had like a massive sale on online and then you got 10% off as well so I'm probably gonna do a haul for you guys a pretty little thing haul um, that's exciting for dinner tonight I'm probably gonna make another hello fresh meal because I've got loads of food from them in the fridge very easy to use so that's the vibe so I'm just cleaning right now and someone's rung the bell saying hi can you please give me access to the building because we have like a security gate um so that i can deliver some phone books and i'm like um i get this all the time and i'm like no sorry it's a, if it's not for my property you're gonna have to ring the number that it's meant for because obviously i don't want to be letting strangers into the premises and it just reminded me of this time when i was younger right and i used to live in a complex in south africa it's called a complex i don't know what it's called here but it's like basically flats and they have like um walls and gates around but it's pretty common in south africa everywhere has like walls and gates around their properties so um we had it we i stayed in an apartment with my mom and dad and my brothers i went to this like chill with the security guard at the gate and um i remember like helping him let people in and i let someone in and he was like to me you just let um you just let a robber in like a robber is like a, a thief you just let a robber in he might kill your parents you need to go check on your parents and i ran home hysterical i was crying i told my dad what happened and at the time i didn't realize what was wrong and i was like dad don't go outside please i accidentally let a killer in blah 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 my dad was washing his car and i think i was like six years old and um when i look back at it today like it just reminded me of it i thought oh my gosh that security guard obviously just didn't want me there. <laughs> he wanted me to go so he told me this lie but i had literally been traumatized i remember feeling so scared like why is my dad still going outside to wash his car when i've just told him that the security guard told me i let a thief in but it was because my dad probably knew the guy just didn't want me there and he was lying like so thanks i don't remember your name but if you're watching this Thanks a lot for traumatizing me for the rest of my life. <laughs> this is definitely a very big problem because how have I not dealt with any of that yet? And I'm already shopping for more stuff as if I have anywhere to put anything. I had to steal some of Morgan's drawers in the bedroom because I just don't have enough space. Like a two bedroom apartment is not big enough for the both of us. We're only here for another like two months, so it's not that bad, but um, we're getting a house soon. So I can have a massive closet. Oh, can't wait. The fact that my job is closed and I don't have enough space for my clothes is just worrying. I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but right now I'm transitioning between um, different contraceptions because I've been on the implant for about six years and the one that I have in my arm has expired. So right now I don't think I am actually on any contraception, just being extra careful. But anyway, I've been trying to get it changed since lockdown started, but because of lockdown, I can't get an appointment. I've even tried to go privately to a doctor privately and even the appointments there are like a two month wait. So I've just decided I'm just going to tra change contraception. I'm going to go on the pill. Um, but the transition that my body is currently going through from contraception to not having contraception is insane. I don't even know who I am. First of all, while I was on the implant, I was so emotional and so like, I would just cry at everything. But now that I'm just my normal self, I'm so heartless and I don't care. Like, I don't, I can't even remember the last time I cried. And now I'm back on my periods as well. Like, I never really had periods while I was on the implant, but my periods have come back now. And I am the devil. I feel so sorry for Morgan. Yesterday he was play fighting with me or whatever, and I got so fucking angry that I slammed this door. And when I slammed it, my pictures fell off. And look what has happened to this picture frame. Um, yeah, it was a mistake. Um, I was just being a demon. I feel sorry for him that he has to deal with me right now. I don't really like who I am when I'm not on contraception. I don't know who I am and I don't like it. It's because I'm just having to find myself again, you know, six years. It's very stressful. Yeah, anyways, I've been rambling on too much. I've just cleaned the house and now I'm going to shower, so. Okay guys, it's literally 10 o'clock and I'm going to get my hair done today because I know I had it done recently, but they just didn't do it the way that I liked it. So I'm just gonna get like highlights added to the top. Um, yeah, I'm here with my driver, Russ. Say hi, Russ. <laughs> um, and then obviously I'm just gonna go back home and Morgan's got a day off today, so we're probably gonna go out for lunch or do something cute like that. But that's about it. Recently I've been waking up so early because I'm so used to Morgan going to training at like eight o'clock. He wakes up like eight, quarter past eight. And my body's just like trained to waking up then, so I don't even have to set an alarm, which is good.
Okay, so obviously I'm finished at the salon. They literally only took two hours today because they didn't have a lot to do. Whereas last time I went, babe, how long did it take? Oh my God. Literally it was a nine to five job. I was literally there from 9 a.m. till like 5 p.m. But anyways, I think my hair looks a lot better. I'm back with my babes now. And we're just gonna go for some lunch. Back to this restaurant we went to the other day called Fume. It's literally the best place ever in Wolves. I absolutely love it. Yes, I'm not wearing makeup because I can't be bothered to put makeup on. Um, just coming out for a quick lunch you know i love italian food we love italian food and this place does the best chocolate mousse and profita rolls so that's why we're here let's go let's um, so i got some alfredo pasta with um i think it's chicken and mushroom and morgan i don't know what morgan's got what have you got babe uh spaghetti milanese yeah that's, i don't know what that is i've already had one porn star got another one on the way you know the vibe me and my porn stars hey handsome Hey baby. So Morgan, tell me what your routine this was this morning. So, yeah. my day off, so I got up, had a nice lighting, made the bed, cleaned my teeth, got a shower, got out, took the rubbish out, went and got a Costa, <laughs> so I did. came back, put a film on, and then you came back. Yeah. Got ready. And come some lunch. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. He thinks that he did more than me this morning that I usually do when he's at training. I did more than you. No, you did not. You never take the rubbish out and I took the rubbish out this morning. Okay, but did you? Because <laughs> it's your job to take the rubbish out. Did you clean anything else? Like mopping, not sweeping, hoovering, clean the sides. Clean the sides. Did you did. unpack and pack the dishwasher? Uh, no, you didn't. I need to check when we get back. I can't remember. Did you hoover the whole house? Didn't need to do that. Yeah, because I did it. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, didn't need to do it. <laughs> All right, you man. Guys, lunch was amazing. Um, I just wish that I wore like shorts and a like short sleeve top because I'm so hot. It is so warm today, but I'm not complaining. It's a good day. I love the weather. It can stay like this forever. Then I'm going to start my exam at quarter past seven. That's it. I'm going to start at quarter past seven and I'm going to finish it tonight because it's only 2,000 words and I can do this. We got this, don't we, babe? We got this. I got it. Yeah, we got it. I can do it. I'm going to get this degree. It will be by force that I get this degree <laughs> because it is so hard. I've wanted to quit like 50 times in the last three weeks. Serious business is about to go down, guys. I'm about to start my criminal law exam and I'm giving myself six hours to do it. Um, so it's seven o'clock now. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one. I should be finished at about one o'clock. So I'm going for lunch tomorrow with some girls and I'm not letting this exam stop me from having fun. So, about to go down i've been deprived a year of fun from corona so this degree is not about to stop me from going out because i'm gonna get it done I'll catch you guys on the flip side i'll update you halfway through let you know how it's going so i've got my little setup going on here i've got our criminal law textbook a cup of tea and my laptop and then of course litty britty in the background Okay guys, so it is currently 12.08 um, in the night. So I've been doing this for five hours and I have finished. I haven't completely finished. I have to edit a few things. Like I'm 67 words over, so I need to go back and delete some words. Um, but for now I'm finished. I'm gonna do that in the morning before I submit it. And then that's it. That's criminal law done forever depending on whether I want to be a criminal lawyer, which I probably don't. But my skin's breaking out so bad again. It's not good for the environment, so I'm so tired. I'm just gonna go to sleep. We're gonna still on the PlayStation, and he's been on the PlayStation since before I started my essay. <laughs> Look at his little setup. <laughs> Babe, you can come to bed now. You know you've been on this game for eight hours. <laughs> so, you went on it from four o'clock, Morgan. Can't hear you. Honestly, I look like a mess, but I just, I woke up at about half eight. Um, I got up, finished my assignment completely, submitted it, all done, <laughs> love that, well, my exam. And then I've just had a cup of coffee, cleaned the house, um, and now I'm just hanging up washing, and then I'm gonna get ready to go out for drinks and food with some friends. 
Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna add maid and housekeeper, whatever, to my freaking CV because at this point, this is all Morgan thinks that I do. My acne is just disgusting, but I'm just gonna show you guys a real me. Like, this is it, guys. This is as good as it's gonna get. Just gonna finish this washing and then I'm gonna get ready. So. Okay, I sound like I eat too much. Thank else? you, guys. I'm trying to be healthy. Anything else? Okay, guys. I'm, so obviously, I'm yeah. out for dinner right now. I forgot to vlog earlier, but five here we are out with the girls. Five I've had about five really cocktails, so I'm a little bit drunk right now. <laughs> We've come to um, Bank Thrilling. Yeah, okay. It's a really beautiful yeah, restaurant yeah. here. And I've ordered a salad, but it's literally it. just lettuce. It's just lettuce. There's <laughs> chicken in there. Shut up. <laughs> This is what I'm eating. <laughs> yeah. I don't eat salads usually. No, I don't eat salads usually, guys. It's just today. <laughs> oh, wait. I need to get involved. <laughs> Look how cute the, um, the canal is, guys. It's right next to where we're eating. I think it's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, we're in the shot. How do you drink all of this? Everyone's vlogging. I thought you just. Are you on heroin? Pour it in, pour it in, pour it in. Pour it in. Pour it in. Everyone's like, drink it like this. Put it on your nose. Well, I'm not meant to do this. Wait, excuse me. I, I exist. <laughs> How are we supposed to put? Oh, can okay. I just get ready? Well, you just apparently pour it okay, in. Is there, okay, can we like cheers, everybody? Yeah, ready. Everyone is ready. Everyone is ready. Let's go. Yay! It doesn't taste like any. I think I'm a bit drunk, so it doesn't taste like any. How's your evening going, Britt? Amazing. You are looking oh, fabulous. I just love having like, like such white straight teeth. Like, <laughs> okay, guys, so obviously, um, the other day I kind of like ended the vlog really abruptly because I was very, very drunk and. Um, the next day I had a really bad hungover so it's like two days later now but anyways it's fine we're here and we're at a little zoo it's called Dudley Zoo I'm not gonna lie to you it's Good not lie. it's not the best zoo I've ever seen because I haven't been to a proper zoo here in England we went to one what was that called West Midland Safari Park or something yeah. like that and that was sick because you can touch the animals and stuff but at this zoo they have electric fencing around the animals so that they can't come up to the fence like it's disgusting it's horrible i'm not acting all nice you know you are i'm filming my vlog yeah, but don't, don't get involved in my vlog don't act as if you didn't have an argument and now you're gonna act all nice and nice for your vlog guys not everyone's perfect we actually just went to curry's to buy a new memory card for my camera so that i could vlog today and left it in the car yeah so right now I'm actually vlogging on my phone. Love that for me. I don't I even have a camera. Well, it's the only people here without kids, as you can tell. But that's because we are big kids. Yeah. Fun fact: Morgan has a phobia of going on roller coasters. But he'll go on something like this and it's a kiddie's roller coaster. I think I won't even go on that. Yeah, you will. It just looks so unstable. Couldn't go on the go-karts because the guy doesn't have a card reader. 2021 and you don't have a card reader. Take a video. Such a kid. Huh? You're such a kid. <laughs> it suits your elder. Hey. It suits you well. You do it. He's a little cute. I feel like I'm doing a full workout because this is a very long walk. But I need the exercise. I feel like I've been here before. This outfit shows my stomach and I've been feeling so insecure about my stomach. But I was just remembering that I watched this video the other day on TikTok and this girl was saying that when you're 90 and you're laying in your deathbed, you're gonna wish you had the young body that you have now. So appreciate it while you can because one day you're not gonna have it. 
because she was saying like, oh, you would lay on your deathbed thinking, I wish I went to the beach that day, but I felt too fat. Or I wish I went out that day, but I felt too fat or I didn't like myself. And that's how I'm feeling. Like, just love yourself. You know what I mean? You know even though I'm wearing so much acne to cover my acne, <laughs> so much makeup to cover my acne, but you know, it is what it is. So obviously we had to leave with a little cute souvenir. Got a little monkey. We are so obsessed with gorillas and monkeys and stuff. What do you want to name him? Huh? What do you want to name him? Uh, I'm gonna call him Chimp. You're not gonna call him Chimp? What? Chimp the, Chimp. Chimp the monkey. Chimp, okay. You wanna call him Chimp? Chimp. Chimp, and I got a little key ring with a monkey on it and a love heart. Put on my car keys. This is just gonna fill the void of our dogs till we can have them back. We told them that we get a new one. Yeah, we're getting a new dog, guys. Oh. Um, we've named it already. It's literally the exact same dog as Hancho, an XR bully, but he is a different color. So we're getting him from the same breeder that we got Hancho because we really love Hancho. Um, but for now, he'll just fill the void. And I'm gonna put this in Morgan's bag when he goes on away games now. <laughs> so that <laughs> no you avoid that. Yeah, I am. No way. So we obviously finished at the, um, the zoo. And we've come for some food in the center of Birmingham at this new restaurant. It is so beautiful, look at this. So nice, it's called Le Corelli. Le Corelli, Le Corelli. However you say it, but it's absolutely beautiful here. Okay, so we've got some steak, chips, carbonara, chips, garlic bread, Morgan's already eaten half of it. <laughs> no, well, that, you don't have to record everything. I everything just want- Ah, oh, people think you don't love me, I just want them to know you love me! <laughs> okay, <laughs> I told you guys he actually gives me attention, I just never get it on camera. See? I'm joking, okay, come, no, it's not. It's yeah, not, it's not, please stay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you guys, so... We've just come home from the zoo and having dinner. Can't breathe, but you can stay. Don't move. It's fine. I'd rather have you on me than have oxygen. <laughs> my camera is still in the car, so this is still being filmed on my phone. Broken camera. It is what it is. Look at me. I'm such a tramp. It's not even an outfit. This is the. These are joggers that Morgan made a hole in. This to the top I had on today. Nike jumper. Because it's quite cold. Tramp. You're a tramp. Why nah, doesn't the telly work? Telly. The te he always says telly. It's not telly. TV. Oh, this girl is so cute. Oh, my gosh. She's so paying. Can I have Emma? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Look Actually. how paying this girl is, guys. <laughs> oh, she's hot. I'm very hot. This is going to be the end of the vlog now because it's, it's been a week, so it doesn't have to keep going on, does it? But thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe and comment and do whatever you want to do. Follow me on my socials at Brittany Davilius for everything except Snapchat is at Brittany Beebs. And Morgan, don't care. You don't need to know Morgan's because you're not allowed to follow him. <laughs> and mm. that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And stay tuned for the next video. Yeah, slide in. <laughs> Go straight in there.